Hello and welcome to another calculus instructional video. This video is about logarithmic differentiation. So there are a couple new things that we're going to introduce here and they can be combined with other rules and other, differ uh, other derivative rules. So the first one we're going to look at is the derivative of the natural log of x function. And the derivative of the natural log of x is defined to be 1 over x. The derivative of the regular logarithmic function is also 1 over x. And finally, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now, we can combine these with other rules, the chain rule, the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, everything else you've learned about differentiation thus far, to take derivatives of more complex functions. So, let's take the derivative in example 1 of e to the 3x. We're going to use the chain rule, and we're going to say that we're going to take the derivative of the whole thing, and multiply it by the derivative of this inside part. So, the derivative of the whole thing, the derivative of e to the 3x is just going to be e to the 3x. It, the derivative is always the same as the original function in this case. And we're going to multiply it by the derivative of this part up here. I should extend this arrow out to here. And the derivative of 3x is just going to be 3. Therefore, we can say that the derivative of e to the 3x is going to be 3e to the 3x. Now let's take a look at example 2. We're taking the derivative of 4x times the natural log of x. And to do this, we're going to use the product rule again. The product rule states that we are going to, if we have any function f of x times g of x, the product rule states the derivative is going to be the derivative of f times g plus f times the derivative of g. So the derivative of the first part times the second part plus the derivative of the second part times the first part. You can review that in another video. Now we're going to take the derivative of this function. So, let's take the derivative of the first part, which is the derivative of 4x, which is going to be 4, and multiply it by the unmodified second part. Now, we'll take the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x, as we just learned, and multiply it by the first part. Now, when we add these, we will have 4 natural log of x plus 4x over x. Now we can simplify that to be 4 times the natural log of x plus 4 after we cancel the x's. And that's the final answer. Now, in example 3, let's take a look. We're taking the derivative of e to the x squared times the square root of x. So now we're going to combine the product rule and the chain rule in one big equation. So first of all, Let's take a look at, the, uh, at taking the derivative of e to the x squared. When we use the chain rule, we're going to say that we're taking the derivative of e to the x squared times the derivative of x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of e to the x squared is e to the x squared. So, that now is the derivative of e to the x squared. And then we're going to combine with the product rule and say that we're now multiplying that by the square root of x. And that is the first term in the product rule. So now we have 2x e to the x squared square root of x plus the derivative of the square root of x, we know the derivative of the square root of x is really just x to the one-half. And we can take the derivative and say that it is one-half x to the minus one-half.
and then multiply that by the first part, e to the x squared, and now we have a lot of simplification to do. Let's take a look at this first term. We can combine the two x's and say that this is 2x to the 3 halves by the power of combining powers, e to the x squared. And then we can take a look at this and say we have an x with a negative exponent, so we can move that down to the bottom. And we'll call that 1 over 2x to the 1 half. So now we have a combined function here of 1 over 2x to the 1 half e to the x squared. And we're almost done. We can combine this just a little bit more. No, we actually can't. We cannot combine it anymore because those exponents don't match. Therefore, our final answer is 2 x to the 3 halves e to the x squared plus 1 half 1 over x to the 1 half e to the x squared.